Soul Tribe, welcome to your Top Soil Tuesday. Today is December 12, 2023, so we're going to be covering all earth signs. So if you are interested in the reading, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, as well as follow the page. We're going to go ahead and get started with earth signs. Um, I think we're going to start off with Taurus, then Capricorn, then Virgo. So, let's see what's going on, Taurus. I hope you're doing well, Taurus, and I hope that this reading finds you safe. So, we're going to have to go ahead and get you some Archangel Animal Oracle cards. Let's see. Where's the Archangel Animal Oracle card? So y'all got three that came out. Raven, Rat, and Elephant. Them been showing up a lot lately. Ladybird and that one too. Wow. So a lot of signs have been getting similar uh, cards, y'all. But what I'm getting right here, Taurus, is that you need to get ready because there's some type of change that's about to come to you. And it's it's important for you to be true to yourself so that you can get what's due you because there's things that you're supposed to be receiving for your accomplishments or the things that you have already um, completed. And then with open your heart with the elephant you are supposed to just open yourself up to this abundance that's coming into you so it's real it's really happening and congratulations but there is some type of change that you're going to experience so even if it's positive change can be very different right so i feel like that's what you're going through right now all right let's see what the new being of the news has for us news of the nubian <laughs> however you want to see it right we couldn't see what's going on though <laughs> what's going on for Taurus? what they need to know Yeah, okay, so this is meant for this time right now. Maybe you feel like you're in solitude or you feel like you're having to be um, very quiet about situations or uh, you feel like you just want to stand still. You possibly need, feel like you need to go and get a spa or stay away or just you don't want to be bothered you might feel like you just want to sleep or you just want to be resting right now princess of cups it could be your emotions that are healing right now so if you did have any type of emotional trauma or emotional experiences that you're healing for your heart chakra you could be going through a heart heart chakra healing at this moment you might feel things in your chest, too. So it's like you're having surgery of your heart. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, because it's time for you to be happy. That's what I said earlier. I said you got this. Ab there is abundance here for you, but you have to be able to see it. So somebody, it's time for you to be happy. Congratulations. King of Cups. You have somebody who's in love with you. Yeah, I feel like somebody has somebody who's in love with them that wants to be in the Ten of Cups with them. Okay. But somebody feels kind of like their emotions are not all the way there yet. Yeah. We got the Nine of Discs, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Prince of Wands, the Death, the Three of Wands, and the Devil. Okay. So, so Taurus, basically what you're saying with this nine of discs right here is that you feel as though you're very prosperous on your own or you feel like you could um, be prosperous on your own. And that's what's got you like feeling like you got to keep your guard up. But 
you doing this, I mean, I feel like you are a lot of people's wish come true or like some, I feel like somebody, they're a really good person, but I feel like you feel like you got to hold your boundaries up because you know that you're a really good person. People might say that you are uh, uh, selfish or um, that you have like an overindulgence of something or you have an overabundance of something. You got the t- both, both nines, nine discs and the nine of cups. You're very abundant in energy and in love. But it's like with this Prince of Prince of Wands right here, I feel like you always come in contact with energies that just want to have like a fast connection with you or they don't take the time to get to know you or they assume really quickly. I feel like with that happening, you always end up ending a situation with the death card being right here so you end up ending the situation and then it goes through this transformation and then now it's like a standstill because look we got the three of wands right next to that so now everything is like at a standstill but with the devil card being the last card this is like some type of trickery like somebody is being tricked into something okay Let's see. Let's get the veil of a set for Taurus. What's going on, Taurus? What's going on with this situation? Okay. Yeah, some about somebody wants uh like something that's gonna be stable, something that's gonna be reliable that they know for sure is gonna be there uh when it comes to finances or uh just something that they know. They, they, it don't even got to be money. It could just be like the everyday life and somebody needs to know that they're going to be taken care of or that, um, somebody can provide that or something like that. I don't feel like this person wants this person to do this for them. They just want to know that they're able to something like that. But yeah, see the two aunts, cause they're like, I can do it for myself. So this could be what you feel towards you could you feel like i could do it by myself but if i do do it with someone they should at least be able to do what i could do basically something like that and they're like you don't gotta do the exact thing that i do but it gotta equate to it because it's the two of onks this is a equal reciprocity it, it, even in love i feel like somebody feel like someone has to be emotionally available as well because they're emotionally available because I feel like somebody had to go through a heart chakra healing or something like that. Yeah, two of scarab. See, and this is what I'm saying. Whoever this is that feels this way, they also feel like they have a lot of things going on. So it's like, you know, they want to have a connection, but also they know that they still have to continue on with life. So somebody still feels like they got to continue on with life. So it's like, are you... Are you going to be a part of it? Something like that. Yeah, see, there go that stability that I was talking about, the Ace of Scarabs. So if somebody's like, you need to choose, you know, like if you're going to have something stable so that with the with the star card showing up, there can be some type of hope, um, some type of healing that can occur as well, more healing. Maybe somebody feels like someone needs to heal their finances or something like that. Okay. What's this nine of this? Wow. <laughs> oh, this is too much. So Taurus. Okay. Y'all see it. We got a repeat repeat card. The devil showing up again. <laughs> Why do I feel like this energy is obsessed with you, Taurus? Something about this. This emperor. So who is this emperor? Taurus, is, th- is this you? Are you obsessed with somebody? But if it's not you, that's obsessed with somebody. Somebody's obsessed with you? This person watches you at work with the eight of scarabs? <laughs> wow. But they feel like you have a lot of options or that you're confusing or that they can't they can't comprehend you. It's hard for them to know what your emotions are like or how you feel. I feel like this person feel like you just like to be on your own, on your own island. Something like that. 
Because you have this boundary up, and somebody feel like they can't get past your boundary, but they're obsessed with you. What's the seven of wands? Yeah, segment. Hey, <laughs> your protectors is protected, okay? Period. They not playing with nobody. <laughs> they can't get past. Okay, this is the thing. You have a your own boundary up because of what you're on, Taurus. And then you have a spiritual protection around you as well. So you have like multiple layers of protection. So it's, <laughs> even if you let your boundary down, it could be like stuff just start happening where you can't ever meet up with this person or like you, it, it's just like fate won't let it happen. Basically stuff like that. Cause segment coming out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. But look, the Empress, you're, this is your partner. Yes. Two of monks. This is crazy. So there's some type of protection around this because there was some type of prophecy because we got the nine of cups right here. So there was some type of prophecy. Yeah. See, this is boggling. This is boggling somebody's mind that they found their person. What's this nine of cups? Something that somebody wished for. <gasps> oh my God. I can't make it up. Y'all, y'all, I can't make it up. Oh my gosh, I could just got some chills, Taurus. Like, what is going on? We got the king and the queen of Onks that came out together, y'all, with the two of swords. So neither person really, really could see this coming or this came out of nowhere for both people, I feel. Because with the two of swords, it was like they were both blindfolded or blinded to something, but they both wished for the same wish and now it came true. The two of unks is embodied in the king and the queen of unks, y'all. This is the most craziest reading, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It looked like, what? Are you serious? Only one person seen this? This is crazy. Okay. Maybe the replay. Y'all will see it. We got the two acceptors. Listen. There is like uh, a choice to travel, maybe. But it's like both people are have to look beyond where they're at because I don't feel like separate. These people are separate right now, but they've made a wish and it's coming true. But it's like they don't see it coming. Man, somebody obsessed or <laughs> both people are obsessed because <laughs> I'm getting the devil card is obsession. This emperor showing up again. <laughs> it's the emperor that's obsessed. Okay. What's this Prince of Wands energy? Okay, the Empress. The Temperance card. So somebody, this Empress has had to be patient because this Prince of Wands energy is what they've been dealing with. People that come in and out. Didn't I just say that? Somebody's been working on patience. Somebody's been working on balance. They've been working on how to keep themselves balanced. They also are being approached by people that want to ask for forgiveness because they're the people that's coming back is they feel like it can lighten their karma or lighten what's happening in their life because they're receiving what they gave basically. So people are um, asking this empress and this could be you Taurus. They could be asking you for like, um, uh, you know, they don't got to say, they don't got to ask for forgiveness, but they ask it for like a, a, a second chance or something like that. Yeah, because I feel like somebody else wants to be, somebody else wants to be your partner. You got somebody else that's trying to be the two of unks with you or something like that. This, this Prince of Wands, but you feel like this Prince of Wands is not on your level. Or it's like not to be like that but it's like that because you the empress and they the prince of wands so it's like but there's definitely significant because they're in the middle so i don't know who this prince of wands is but i feel like you ended it um the death card is right here let's see i'm feeling a lot of fire and uh fire water Yeah, pretty much everybody out here bro yeah fire water earth a little bit of earth so your fellow earth could be a uh, significant too but look at all this the warrior of unks yeah 
you feel like it's done with. Somebody asking you for forgiveness, the scribe of unks, but you're like, um, we had to go to war. Like, this is not a match. So this is how the relationship looked at like, yeah, you you want to be in this, the, the king and the queen of unks. So you're like, you can keep that, warrior of unks, uh, scribe of unks energy. Somebody like, I felt like I was babysitting my lover or something like that. Yeah, this person mad. Warrior of swords, they mad. They want to lash out. They got something smart to say because they mad because you're getting some type of recognition or you're being celebrated. So they don't like the fact that you're getting some attention or that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. This was prophesied or this was what was supposed to happen. Like, I don't know. Somebody feel some type of way because you did the situation and, you know what I'm saying, you moved on. This is three of wands. Yeah, the sun. Wow, and you happy. You happy. And this person that's greedy is mad because they looking and they're, they're trying to watch you, but they're getting information that's making them feel some type of way. Because somebody, if they did do the looking or researching themselves, they found something that made them feel some type of way. If they sent somebody, they the person that told them whatever they found, they felt some type of way towards the, the messenger and the messenger don't want to send nothing no more. This person having to wait now for information. It's like somebody, cause these two devils, they too different. Cause I feel like one devil is like a, um, I guess like infatuation, which could be, some people say that's wrong, but if you first try to get to know somebody, that could be like a possibility. So the, I feel like this, these two right here might be infatuated with each other, but there's also another person that's infatuated, but they are supposed to be out of the picture because the death was here. So that means that somebody ended something with somebody and this person keep on holding on to them, but they... Every time they look at the information, they either get mad at the messenger or they mad themselves because somebody's happy. They just look over and they say they happy. Yeah, they see this person still helping or providing for others. Yeah. And they jealous of whoever this emperor is. Of They feel like this person has a lot or their status or something like that the the guardian this person's protected like i said the guardians is not playing like these two people are um supposed to be together is what it's feeling like so i don't know this somebody just feel like that they want to be the devil or something <laughs> listen what's the devil um, yep told you somebody already knew that though Somebody knew that they ain't sincere on whatever apology this is or whatever this is that they're trying to say. Somebody like, they still immature. They still want to fight. Yeah, it's going back to it. Somebody already seen this. I think that's what makes this other person mad or irritated. They want to fight somebody. Yeah, this devil is just so mad and upset. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Let's get the sh uh, shamanic fur. Taurus. Yeah, you got like heavy ancestral energy. You might um be looking at the sun set or the sunrise, but some about um your ancestors are proud of you for you know going how far you went and this other energy. They just, it's like, they just gonna have to go through they, they stuff. Because this person was tormented. That's why they acting like that. It didn't show the nine of swords, but I feel it on that four of scarabs energy. They selfish. This person is greedy, selfish. They don't share. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't have care within them because they won't do the healing. They just refuse to. So they just sit and hurt. Yeah, see... We got stone people knowing y'all have this heavy ancestral energy around you. I know y'all. some of y'all can see the faces within this. If y'all got the cards and y'all know what I'm talking about, you can see the faces within the stones. So it's like, this is something that goes back in, in time. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody, 
Somebody did something that they were supposed to do. Yeah, sacred space. Look at that. Wow. The the sacred space. You can see it as a graveyard, a resting place. Stone people. They're, they have their headstones in a resting place. Crystals. Amplification. So if you got crystals, it's really a good time to amplify those crystals. You're going to get some type of um, wisdom from those. Yeah. Deflection. Bells. So if you guys got bells and of course this is the time for them because you know everybody got the uh the holiday things out but even if you just got chimes or something like that this would be a good time to get something like that i'm seeing that wind chimes all right so that's what i have for you taurus <laughs> i hope this got to the right person so if y'all been vibing with the tribe, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, as well as follow the page. We finna move on. That was a light reading. That wasn't too heavy. That was really a cool reading for Taurus. Okay. What's going on, Capricorn? Hope you're doing well, and I hope that this reading finds you safe. Ooh, 2131. Okay. So what's going on, Capricorn? Let's see what your Archangel Animal Oracle cards are for this Topsoil Tuesday. you trying to keep something closed because of some something you're trying to be loyal to okay yeah, you're trying to keep something closed because of something you're trying to be loyal to okay use your power with wisdom all right so your um your wisdom is what is going to be in question at this point because you're already powerful, but it's like, are you wise? Are you wise enough to be able to sustain this wisdom or uh, wise enough to sustain this power? Because look, we got butterfly. Be ready to transform with wisdom. Yeah, so you going through a transformation. That's what's happening. Okay. Wow. Wow. Y'all got turtles. Be joyful and trusting. Okay. So, listen. Something about... It's almost like this energy where if you are more joyous, if you start to feel more happy, or, you know, it's going to bring this feeling of feeling trust within the situation because maybe somebody doesn't feel very trustful around certain energy or certain people something like that wow y'all got ladybird too except happiness and good fortune see there's so many things that are around but it's like when you're distracted or you paying attention to other stuff you miss it and then you're like dang i'm waiting for this but it's already then came Something like that. Okay. What's the news? Let's see what the news of the Nubian for Capricorn. Yeah. What's going on with Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? It's a disc. We already know what that is. So you're receiving something that's going to be stable, a new opportunity, um, something that could be very big for you. You could be, you know, well, I don't know why I just heard uh, you might be getting some large amount of money. Okay. 
six of dis. I mean, seven of dis. So this is coming from something that you've already put um, energy, effort, and time into. Could be a relationship, not necessarily, but whatever this is, is growing. Something is growing. Yeah, Empress. So you've been doing the work that's necessary for this to grow, Capricorn, is what it's looking like. You've been taking care of business. Prince of Cups. Hmm. Why does it feel like somebody wants you to have mercy on them? What is this? The sun card. Ten of swords. Ten of wands. Eight of cups. Ten of dis. The strength card. And the princess of swords. What? This is why. All right. So somebody wants you to have mercy on them and you're receiving something from what you already did and it's growing. We got the sun card. So what's going on? There's a lot of things that are being exposed to you or you're seeing through a lot of stuff right now. Things are just all coming together and something is being explained to you. But also the sun card pertaining this could be pertaining to someone's son. We got the Ten of Swords. So I don't know exactly what happened in this Ten of Swords. But somebody, whoever is involved in this, they're being ex exposed or you're seeing what's going on. Because the Sun card is exposure. And the Ten of Wands, this is something that has been burdening either you or whoever is involved in this. And with the Eight of Cups, is like... You're trying to emotionally detach from something. So somebody doesn't want to be attached to whatever this is. Because they're trying to focus on a ten of this. That's why they've been trying to build. Yeah, you on your way there because you already got eight of them. You've been working on it. So somebody is trying to get that eight to the ten. And it's taking a lot of courage. It's taking a lot of strength to be able to push forward in whatever this situation is. This is a life lesson. The Princess of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So somebody's going through some life lesson. But you're guaranteed something. Something is being guaranteed to someone. Alright. What's this Capricorn? Energy. Yeah, that sun card keep coming out, y'all. Yeah, this is somebody. This is somebody's son, y'all. The Queen of Onks. This is a mother. Tetra Sherry, mother of kings. Yeah, kings. So you could have multiple boys. Maybe you have two sons or something like that. Let's see. You could have more than that. Let's see. What's the um, veil of a set? Let's clarify this. Oh my gosh. Y'all got cards coming out on the on my lap. What's these? Pack of magic, six, oh no, three of scarabs. The six of swords is in reverse. The king of swords is in reverse. And the seven of swords. Somebody about to be exposed as a liar. I think I got something like this before. Somebody about to be exposed as a liar. Whoever this lawyer is, they, they was giving somebody some bad um, guidance or something like that. Because whoever this is that was doing that, they 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 try they try to work with other people, but they don't somebody doesn't connect to the supernatural or they don't believe in supernatural or something like that. Cause I feel like they were doing this and the supernatural was watching them set this up this whole time. This is like a setup, like a um a false, either a, a lawyer or some uh, some corrupt official was dealing with some type of situation when it came pertaining to this. Wow. I didn't even get to cut this hard or nothing, but that sometimes happens. Yeah. I'm definitely talking about the talking to the mother, I feel. All right. So this corrupt person has been found out. They, they was hiding something. The seven of swords in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> the seven of swords upright is already bad enough. And then it's in reverse. Connected with this King of Swords. This could have been a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Definitely a, a, 
Aquarius connected to this. Six of Swords right after that. Yeah. Oh, uh, my gosh. All right. What's the, I mean, I didn't even get to say, can I clarify the uh, Sun card? Those cards just came out. <sighs> I'm going to clarify it. But I feel the need to put them cards over there. What's the Sun card? Yeah, because see, something is being put on hold now. So whatever this situation is, now it's at a standstill. Something is being put on hold. Because maybe they're finding out about this corrupt official or something is being found out about somebody doing something wrong. And this person has no more access to something or they being uh, badges being snatched. That's why I just heard. Dang, yeah. They like, you can't come in here. Seven of Scepters, yeah. Seven of Scepters with the Phoenix, there ain't no getting past this. Security is like, no. So somebody got some new beginning though, y'all. On the side note, the Ace of Cups. Because I feel like what's happening is somebody is starting to show love to themselves. Yeah, your intuition is starting to heighten up too, Capricorn. I feel like that's who I'm talking to. You could be the person that's going through this. Yeah, it's... I don't know what they thought. What's this Ten of Swords? Mm. King of Onks and the Queen of Onks. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is this like a family situation? Because the King of Onks and the Queen of Onks is a couple. But I don't feel like these this couple is together. Because it's falling off on the Ten of Swords. Maybe this couple broke apart because of whatever devastation this was. The Ten of Swords is devastation, y'all. In whatever form this is, maybe the couple broke up and it was a devastating situation. Somebody could have... Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put that one out there too. Somebody could have passed away. That could definitely be a devastation as well. Somebody might have lost their wife or lost their um, significant other. It could have been something like that. My condolences. And it's become a burden, burdensome for someone. Or it's become hard for someone. It's not easy to carry the burden alone. Something like that. Wow. What's this Ten of Wands? Yep, it's a ghost. I knew it was going to come out. The Hermit. Ugh. This is a passed on energy. This queen of uh, scarabs, whoever the queen of scarabs was. Wow. But this could also be you, Capricorn. Yeah. You have this connection with whoever this um, ghostly figure was. This person had a lot of wisdom. I feel like that's where you get your wisdom from. If this was like, if this was somebody's mother, because it could have been that too. It could have been your mother or it could have been somebody's wife. Whoever Tetra Sherry, the mother of kings is, put yourself how you need to. You could could have had a, a Capricorn mother. Since I'm talking to Capricorn, maybe both of you guys have Capricorn highly aspected or Earth highly aspected. Um, You could have water in your chart as well. But I feel like... Whoever this is, it was a, a connection that went beyond time. Yeah. And somebody is bringing something, exposing something. And somebody is being able to walk away, emotionally detach themselves from something now. Let's see. What's this Eight of Cups? The Emperor. Mm. Yeah. So... Somebody is taking their power. They're taking, uh, it's like you're taking your power back or you're, you're starting to be in your position that you need to be in. Yeah, something of truth. Like the truth is finally coming out. So somebody can actually stand on business. Yeah, Queen of Swords, I'm telling you, there's some, some truth is being um, given to somebody so that they can, do what it is that they need to do because you're supposed to be cutting through a lot of things. 
King of Onks while showing up again. So like I said, Capricorn, I don't know where you where you place yourself at because your energy could be anywhere on these cards. But you know what it, you know what your story is. You know where you are placed, right? But I feel like someone had to learn a lesson too. This is another side note about your mind. Something about your mind. Somebody might even want to go to school for. Um, learning something about the mind or like psychology or something like that or maybe you want to take classes that's a side note wow but I feel like it's time for you to boss up it's time for you to maybe have that business or whatever this is that you're building while you're doing this you're building something you're working on something what's this ten of this Five of Swords. Oh my goodness. It's always something, right? So, y'all might be feeling like there's going to be a lot of people in your family that's going to be fighting over money or something like that. Maybe pertain to whatever this situation was. There was a lot of money that was spent or a lot of money went into a situation and now people are fighting each other. Yeah, Tower. It was like... This was unexpected. Whatever happened was unexpected. Nobody seen it coming or nobody expected it to happen. It could have been a devastation. Like I said, the Ten of Swords. It was something devastating that happened. The Tower, the five, five of Swords. Okay. But someone has the tools necessary to get themselves up out of it. Because we got the sorcerers here, the magician. Yep. But you're going to have to go through this transformation though. So it's still going to be painful. Because I feel like... This something had to happen for someone to get the strength up out of them. It's like it, it it made you into a stronger character. Your your character is now more fortif fortified. I was getting that earlier today. Some about fortitude when you build something, but then you build something uh, around it to make it even more stronger. Wow, something about that. All right, what's the strength card? Ooh. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. Who is this? Okay. Now I see what was happening. Because I was like, what? About this couple. Because this couple had came out earlier, right? So, this is what I'm getting. Somebody had to be strong because they they were in a connection with... Maybe it was... Y'all take y'all scenario how you need to. If, it, if it's you and your... Your, your partner, maybe y'all had kids and your partner did something that caused a devastation that's now everything is like, you know, a struggle or a battle or something like that. And this Queen of Scepters could have been involved in this situation because she's coming out in reverse and the card was like somebody, somebody's upset and mad at whoever this is. And I feel like it's actually both people because... This emperor in reverse is coming out. Yeah, somebody thought they was going to keep something quiet because now all the cards coming out in reverse. Are you serious? Somebody thought somebody was a total opposite or they was trying to make them the total opposite of what it was that maybe you were the person that you dealt with. I don't know if this person was the total opposite and now you're just not finding it out because this could be what's happening. This was a lesson for you. Because it was like a lot, lots you were learning at one time. You're finding out a person is a controlling person. They deal with people that's iffy. They could, maybe this is a side chick or somebody that's like, they don't care who they deal with. They don't care, you know what I'm saying? They just deal with whoever. But it, maybe somebody's real personality came out. Something like that. Because I feel like someone was... If someone was trying to persuade persuade you to think one way of them and they was a whole nother way. Like they was not what you thought they were at all. Somebody finding this out. Yeah, this person was even like they was very selfish while you were dealing with them or when you were around them. They were very selfish. They didn't give much of anything. That's how you know who it is. But you had to be strong to learn this lesson. What's this princess? Of sorts. Wow. Oh my gosh. If this was a marriage, I feel like you decided you don't want to be married to this person because all they do is fight you. Five acceptors or you always have to fight with other people. If it, if it's a household, your house is always in shambles or it's a lot of arguing going on. 
somebody could have lost a house and got it got upset about it or they got something happened about a house or a marriage something is not happy yeah somebody wants they want to be in a different connection or or other connections the nine of unk somebody wants to indulge somebody might want to get drunk or something because they just want to go through this healing someone wants to have some type of hope so this is coming from a painful place if somebody does want to get drunk be careful out there y'all um yeah somebody stuck in their head they they want to get drunk and they stuck in their head but they need to go through some type of healing in the tower because it was unexpected wow man this is crazy y'all need some medicine for show let's get y'all some medicine something about harsh lessons or something like that Uh, there was some cards that fell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we got shield, medicine shield, protection, and middle world present. Huh. Wow. Something about y'all have some type of protection. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to even freaking shuffle up the bottom. But look, it says that y'all have some type of protection with the present, in the present. So, even though you're going through all, all this chaos or this drama or whatever it is, yeah, because you're supposed, because you're in your calling, this is supposed to be happening for your for your character development. I said that already, though. Okay. Yeah, somebody is also. You might be. Feeling like you're having to go through like a soul retrieval or something. Reclaiming pieces of your energy back to you. Because I feel like this person really, you know, poked a lot of holes in your aura. And it wasn't like they meant to. I mean, I don't know. They might have meant to. <laughs> but on a spiritual level, you know, if they not spiritual, they just don't know. They're just doing it because they, they need to feed. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to be careful out there. Yeah. It's time for you to nurture yourself. You're going to have to ground yourself or put yourself in a, a place where you can, like, take your shoes off, go outside. Um, if it's too cold for that, then you need to go somewhere where you can experience, like, being in a, a solitude. It might rain on the day that you actually go do it. That's a, a significant sign. That means you're purifying as well maybe somebody need to detox you might need to cry it's nothing wrong with crying okay yeah see it, once you get through this phase you're gonna be more creative than ever somebody is gonna feel like they can do anything after they get past this because it's gonna be like wow i experienced all this and I'm still able to stand here, you know? So it's still a congratulations for whoever it is that's conquering. Maybe this was something that was the hard, one of the hardest lessons you had to learn in this lifetime. That's what I'm seeing right here. Okay. So I hope that got to the right person. Don't forget, y'all, if you was vibing with the tribe, to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share. Hit the post notification bell as well as follow the page. Okay. So we got Virgo. Virgo is next. Ooh. What is going on? With the Virgos, we we in this is a, a twelve twelve portal, y'all. Sagittarius new moon. This is it. <laughs> All right, let me just get a little bit. I don't really need that much. What's the Archangel Animal Oracle cards for Virgo? 
Virgo placements. What's the Archangel Animal Oracle cards? Hmm. Ah, hedgehog. Be a magnet of light, love, and joy. So you're going to probably see a lot of orbs or you're going to see a lot of... um like uh i call it like fairy dust fairy dust <laughs> you might be experiencing that right now elephant open to everybody needs to open themselves up to abundance i don't know what's going on what is everybody uh, i hope my collective is not just letting stuff pass them by I know they ain't, not especially not the ones that's been on the journey for a while and you've been asking for stuff. I know you ain't letting your, your abundance pass you by. It says, gray squirrel, find new ways to solve problems. So if there is an issue or a problem, just find another way to fix it. You, you got that though. Yeah, be independent, but work together. So you can still do your thing and still make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You can still do your thing and make it happen. All right. What's the news? What's the news for Virgo? What did they need to know? What's the news of the newbie? There's people that look up to you, Virgo. Yeah, look at this. Somebody actually feels like uh, you when you work with them or when you do stuff with them, you take your time and you give people good and you give people good energy. Somebody enjoys working with you. Somebody feels like you're very peaceful as well. Tuh, no wonder the star. <laughs> wow. So some people call it star seeds. You could be. People might say you out of this world or you from another galaxy, something of that nature. Could You could be somebody that receives a lot of attention as well. Wish upon a star. Justice. So you might even be somebody who, like when you walk into people's lives, they receive what they're what they're due so it could be in any way if a person is a uh, what we call quote unquote good person because you know everybody messes up but quote unquote uh, morally right or whatever you want to call it you could give this person justice if they're receiving some injustice when you come around if this person is quote unquote a bad person morally un, um, unlawful or whatever they're gonna get their 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 karma as well something like that yeah, two of swords, see? I feel like maybe you unknowingly you unknowingly were doing this. Maybe you're just now becoming aware that you have this ability. The Prince of Dis. Wow. I feel like for some reason, when you were younger, you got downplayed. I feel like people didn't know that you were who you were. So that's why you were the perfect one for them to put in this position because people always underestimate you or always treat you a certain type of way. And then they, they might never find out that they're receiving karma because you know what I'm saying? You're walking karma, something like that. Okay. Let's see. We got the ace of wands, three of wands, the lovers, Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Eight of Wa Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess. What? <laughs> that is interesting. So, Virgo, you got the Ace of Wands. First card out. Um, man, it really feels like something that you're very passionate about it gets you going or it makes you want to do something is right around the corner because I feel like you've been patiently waiting for something to manifest but you want it to be very stable it could be a love situation with the lover's card right next to the three of wands so you've been waiting for some type of love situation to either be stable or for like a, a house maybe you've been trying to get a house 
or even um, trying to get something that's going to last for a long time so people commit because they feel like that's stable being committed to someone. So that could be, but you want to make sure whatever this is, is the truth with the Ace of Swords. So you're trying to make sure that this, whatever this is, is honest and reliable. The Queen of Wands is right next to it. So whoever this is that you are passionate about, this person is very confident. Um, they are not easily shook. Whoever this is, they're not afraid. I feel like this person is protected as well by some type of guardians. These dogs are representing their guardians. Um, with this Eight of Swords, there could be a situation where either somebody is stuck in their mind about something or, or they keep going in circles or maybe somebody's in some type of uh, cycle right now. But the high priestess is right here. So if if this person is stuck in a cycle, they are supposed to use their intuition to get out of it or their intuition to help guide them through whatever this is. Maybe this is somebody's love? Alright, let's see. What's the bell? What? What is this five of scarabs and the seven of swords? Somebody feel like they got to leave something out that has been deceitful. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The devil said something or someone was very deceitful about something. And someone's leaving something out. They started something new that they're passionate about, the Ace of Wands. Or they building something new. Yeah, this new thing. Yeah, maybe somebody has already put some time, energy, and effort into it. Yeah. Or somebody wants to invest or they want to get some type of harvest out of what it is that they have already did. Okay. Huh. Okay. So we got the scribe of scarabs. So I feel like something grew over time, Virgo. You started off with something and then over time it had to grow. The four of scarabs, you had to hold back. You were holding on to something. Maybe this was something that you had left over after leaving the situation or someone leaving, leaving you. Yeah, maybe this is why you want to build this happy home or this marriage. I see, I'm see, i seeing it, y'all. The four, It's like you want something stable or a home or a house. Something that's going to make you happy. But you've been having to save for it or put a little bit away at a time. Something like that. Or you had to let go of something. Maybe somebody got rid of some things in their house. Oh, it could have been a, a person. The three of swords. Somebody betrayed you. Or are you dealing with heartbreak? When it came to a situation, oh man, I ain't even supposed to see segment. She behind the scenes doing a lot. Okay, somebody, listen, you need to just know you're protected. You're very loved. Whoever this is that's having to go through this, you might be under, you might be going under what they call warfare, but that is what it is. You, I mean, as long as you breathe, Nine out of ten, you're going to be under something, right? <laughs> under something, right? So let's see what's going on. What's this Ace of Wands? Oops. Ooh, y'all got the Ace of Scarabs and the Seven of Scepters in reverse? Huh. So something about you... Um, Somebody needs to lighten up or something because there's something about you be lightening up your guard or loosening up your guard so that you can start something new or have some type of passion, but you need to solidify this because I feel like this was a gift that was given to you. My, okay. Somebody might feel like this is kind of scary or they feel like uh, whoever this is, that's supposed to be 
either solidifying something or making something right. They might feel like they're in their comfort area. So I don't know if it's you, Virgo, or if it's the other person. Somebody feel like they got they got to get out of their comfort to go after something that they want. It makes them feel yeah, they're unsure about it exactly. The moon, so like. They might not tell you this, but behind the scenes, they wonder or they, they're they subconscious. They're thinking, you know, yeah, warrior, scepter. Somebody's so used to, like, a fight or flight or something. That's what it feels like. Somebody used to, like, fight or flight. Hmm. It could be, are you dealing with a fire sign or they got fire highly aspected? Something like that. <laughs> What's this three of wands? All these wands coming out. Yeah, somebody is protecting themselves. Look at this. They kind of like, they are they got this little shield around th their heart or something. So maybe that's why you've been kind of, what is going on? I'm, I got to play this back, y'all, because I'm like, whoa. So the scribe of, of scarabs is showing up again. So it's like, that's why you might not be, wanting to like put yourself out there or give too much somebody they're being careful about what they give because they're trying to build something but they don't want to maybe you feel like this person you don't know if they can really be in a true love connection with you maybe you feel like this person kind of just holds back when it comes to like being in a full-blown love or maybe that's what you're doing maybe you're doing that because you feel like you got something else you got to do or something What's this uh, lover's card? Yep. Somebody's, it's not really like holding back. You just being patient. Somebody wants something that's peaceful. They want to be in a peaceful relationship. Oh, you might be getting rid of a sneaky energy or a, a manipulative energy. That's crazy. So if you're in a relationship already, it's this uh, sorceress in reverse manipulator could be a Scorpio or Scorpio. Ooh, excuse me, not necessarily or a Gemini <laughs> or a Sagittarius. These are majors, but I feel like this uh, this energy right here refuses to go through transformations. They're kind of like at a st stunt. Like they they want to be manipulative and they don't want to change. Yeah, this person is like <laughs> they constantly want to stay in that energy. So you want something that's balanced and har harmonized. Yeah, the Empress. So you looking at another energy as the Empress, the Chariot. So you going forward towards this Empress. It could be a Libra or a Cancer. You want to um, balance something out with this person or you want to give and receive with them. Okay. What's the Ace of Swords? Uh-oh. Ace of Scepters, yeah. See, it's going back to it. And then the Scribe of Scepters. So somebody had been planning something for a while, but it started to grow or the, they started off um, excited about something. They had good news and now it's growing into passion or because they're finding out the truth about it. Somebody might have been receiving a dream. They might have got a vision about something. Yeah, see the seven of onks. So somebody in the Neptune, Neptunian energy, somebody might be having a lot of dreams, visions about something. Yeah, they're falling in love with someone. Yeah, this Queen of Swords. Yep, because they feel like this Queen of, Queen of Swords is truthful and honest or something like that. They don't feel like this person is very manipulative and they know that they're protected. This person also, I mean, this is a plus, but they look real good. What's this Queen of Wands? Yeah, this is the Empress for sure. Y'all see how she keep coming out? The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Aunts is showing up here. So this person is very loving. Like I said, it could be a Libra or Cancer. Not necessarily. It could be any sign, but those are the ones that stick out the most. Or a Taurus or something like that. Um. Yep, 
Queen of I can't make it up. There's the other one. That was the only one that I didn't say. The Queen of Wives, the Queen of Unks, the Queen of Swords, and now the Queen of Scarabs is showing up. Somebody is very uh efficient. It could be you, Virgo, because here go your card, the her hermit. So, you know, talking about you or somebody is looking at you like they want to be with you, but they with somebody that's manipulative or it's the other way around. But, yeah, it's like a, a it's a whole bunch of competition going on because I feel like this manipulated person don't want to change and they don't want to let them go. They want to continue to keep on battling for them or fighting for them. It could be multiple people that feel like this towards this person. Or you, Virgo, they, somebody want to fight over you because you have all these aspects. Like, you bring everything to the table. <laughs> you the empress. Somebody like, bro, I want the empress. They could be a mom. They can provide. They they look good. Like, you got the whole package. <laughs> Something like that, Virgo. Somebody stuck in their head about it. Or you stuck in your head going around and around. Something like that. What's this eight of swords? Yeah, this passion is growing crazy. Somebody doesn't want to not see or somebody doesn't want to uh, be blocked off. Somebody wants to be free from this. The two of swords. Somebody doesn't want to be stuck in this situation anymore. It's in reverse. So it's like you don't want to be blocked. You don't want to be stuck in this cycle. Somebody wants to go after this passion. Yeah, they, t they don't want to be confused with going back. Look. Okay. Yeah, the um best that the comforter. Oh so whoever this uh empress is, they are protected by Bastet. Yeah. And also she represents like being uh not only the protector but the tools that she holds in her hand is like music, joy, laughter. So this person brings a lot of joy and laughter. They could be artistic as well. This baby right here. I don't know. Is there a baby in the future? Y'all might have a baby in the future. Okay, let's see what the high priestess is. This is high priestess. Ooh. Okay, so there might have been somebody that told you or high, you could have went to a high priestess or... Something like that. Because I feel like this is an advisor. I feel like this advisor could have told somebody that some situation, this love connection right here is not a no-go for them. The two of unks are reversed. Because they're saying that you're going to continue to be breadcrumbs. Yeah, see? They're telling them, they, whoever this advisor is, was telling them that they're going to continue to be breadcrumbs by this selfish person. And this home was not going to be happy. And that their wish is elsewhere. Like, basically, um, staying, maybe this person went to go get some type of uh, reading or, like, to get something from a high priestess because they was confused. Like I said, somebody want to come out of confusion or they don't want to be blocked or they don't want to, listen, y'all get the story, but somebody went to a advisor and the advisor told them that, they told them the truth, basically, what I'm saying. So, somebody said what I'm saying, I'm confirming it, um, that this person, they might even said they was manipulated, like I told y'all. But they basically said this person is not going to make you happy. They're not going to give and receive with you. This person, they, your investments is futile to this person because they're overly selfish. They won't let go. They won't, it's like they would have to let go of their old ways to even start to heal. And then after that, they got to still go through the healing. And like some people can't be around people that's going through healing. Because they need to go through an isolation phase. So it's like, it's a lot going on with this person. They're just not on the level, whoever this is, that should be getting this wish. Because either you're the high priestess that was telling them this, or you, you went to a high priestess, or it, you need to use your intuition, bro. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah, see? Nine of unks to get, I mean, the ten of unks to get happiness. Complete happiness. Because right now somebody wishing, but they want to be in a happy connection. There go that baby again. Aww. And there's a little baby. Well, a, a toddler or something like that. Yup. This is something stable. This is going to be something that's stable. But somebody got to take that leap, though. It's going back to that. <laughs> it's going 
going back to that. Okay. Let's get y'all shamanic medicine. Let's get the shamanic medicine for Virgo. What's going on, Virgo? Ooh. Y'all got jump jumping cards all day or all night. It's probably because it's the, the portal. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Let's go get straight to it. I don't got no long stories. Just straight to it. All right. Treat people with sustenance. So yeah, this is the, this is the time to get, be around the trees, you know, and connect to the trees right now. Because they have the su sustenance that you need. The owl is really sticking out to me. Owl is, uh, owl is significant. You might be seeing a lot of owls or you like the owls. Something about creativity. That keeps coming out. It's time for you to explore your creative side. Maybe you play the drums or the drums are significant. And then east. Maybe you um, live on the east, east coast or the east side or something like that. Okay. Well... That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this got to who needed it. If you were vibing with the tribe, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Make sure y'all share. Hit the post notification bell as well as follow the page. But I'm going to get up off of here. I will be back tomorrow for Windy Wednesday. So that's going to be our air signs. Well, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Deuces. 622.